Yeah. She's never cried. No? No. But they open their mouths, you just don't hear it. I know. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Oh, Come on, you. You can do it. Can you Come can do it. say hi. I know it's bright, huh? Come say hi. Oh. <laughs> Do you guys care if you end up on the channel? No. <laughs> you are just so precious. I don't. I oh no, she won't. <laughs> She's fine. There's this slinker. He had a cat. Cats might not love him though, but it's okay. They used to live with huskies back in the day. It's okay, Styles. Come here. She's like, yeah, no. Hey. Hey. Oh, you need a brushing, girlfriend. I know, you want to play with the kitties, but you can't. Mm. <laughs> oh, he's going to go get his camera for me so I can have a picture. Oh, can I stick my camera in your van? You go right after So this is Dan and Tina. And this is our... <laughs> oh, there's their cats. This looks just like it's Stella and Penny. <laughs> there you Makes go. Makes <laughs> Our son made those. That's so cool. Tina on his uh, 3D printer. This one is a phone holder, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see. I was wondering why. I'm like, he's yeah. very thin in his back area. <laughs> funny, though. <laughs> those are awesome. That's what Tina Was it Matt or Jake that made them? Matthew. Matthew. That's the, he's, he's the designer. If you were watching uh, quite a few videos back, Matthew's the one that sent me the tie-dye stuff. Hi, Matthew, if you're watching, you're probably not. Clean up the pizza boxes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at this setup. This is awesome. <laughs> see, it's when I see stuff like this, it makes me want to get rid of my damn cupboard that I have here. Because this, so having more space is so Feels nice. Open, eh? Yeah. Wow, you guys sit up high. Yeah. With that bed. That's so crazy. Here underneath, so That's where the diesel people. heater is? No, it's uh, the rear heater for the van. Oh, the oh, it came with the built-in. Oh. Yeah, and I didn't remove it, so I had to put the bed up over it. Gotcha, gotcha. I love this. The swing-out table. Yeah. That's and cool. Look at that. <laughs> and the cheap one. Heck yeah, look at that. Whoop. Oops. Goo gone down. Yeah, you just did that. That's just like the piping from like Home Depot or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Same with my handle. Really cheap to do it. That's so and cool. This I saw Jeffy Bear. Okay. Yeah. 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 Same table like this. So that's. Where Emmy did something like this it. recently too, didn't she? Make some sort yeah. of movable table. Yeah. I don't know what everybody else in the van like. That's where I got the idea. <laughs> and then here, nice cover for the bucket. The bucket. See, you fancied it up. It's I like, did you make it's that? A dog bed. <laughs> oh, it's just an upside down dog bed. <laughs> do, do we do that today? Oh man, that's yeah. genius. We're, oh, that's a nice small one. It's perfect, yeah. eh? Yeah, dog bed fits perfect. Learning. My mom will appreciate that. <laughs> You're not in Hawaii. Basically, it's all just stuff I put together. Yeah, well, that's how we all do it, right? Pick up on Kijiji. Oh, look at that. That's an old freezer drawer? Goes underneath your washer and dryer. Oh, the, oh okay, sure, sure, sure. The back door. Should have hired dad to build my van. <laughs> oh, very cool. Pull that out again. Let me see that. Look at that. Wow. Pull out pantry. How does that stay in transit? Is it not uh, bad? I have to strap it. I gotta oh, okay. Strap. Across the whole thing. Okay. Where's your actual where's the actual diesel heater? Oh nice but and simple. I really dread if I have problems because then the seat's got to <laughs> Yeah, down. me too. So you just have to take out your passenger seat to get at it, which yeah. is a, that's not fun. Nope. Nice. And I did the big whore. I know. You were saying on your video. Yeah, you, know, you went all the way out right yeah. through. That's how everybody else has theirs. Yeah, I did mine after Simon's over at Foresty Forest. And I just people keep telling me that's wrong. You should have it all outside. Haven't done it yet. That's, that's cool. 300 watts of solar. Oh yeah, nice. That's same as Lucky. Very cool. Are they the Renergy panels? Yeah. I'm gonna climb on batteries. Your Say that again. Three 100 amp lithium batteries. Oh no! You put your hand in the trap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what towel. happens. That's okay. I just wanted to right see your roof. Appreciate it. There you go. <laughs> the shop rags. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'll <laughs> Thank you. Clean your hands. There you go. Ah! Clean your hands. <laughs> oh, I love this setup, mm -hmm. though. That's great. That is a nice looking front end. Those, yeah, you said 2013, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, the Econoline front ends there at the end of their life are really cool looking. Built this nice little sun deck yourself? Yeah. Heck yes. <laughs> and I have the outer room for the ARV. And I'm into the stickers. I can, really? <laughs> oh, you couldn't tell. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I know I just started putting stickies on. Stickies? <clears throat> <laughs> stickies. <laughs> Shut up. Stickies. <laughs> stickies. Well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That only cost yeah. you, what, $25? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Stupid price. Thank it. you. That's really cool. <laughs> it was worth it. Oh, yeah. that's kind of you. Very cool. There you go. Check them out. You're posting every day, right? Uh, no, I don't post every day. <laughs> <laughs> I post once a month. That's fine. It's better, that's still better than Amber. Well, yeah, exactly. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the van again, I'm like, wait a second. Are those coffee These sleeves on the ceiling? Too bright, so. Oh, they're light shades. <laughs> Oh my God, that's Those are genius! Light shades. They were too bright one night, so I, I popped it on there, and it fit perfect. That's so cool. It just, <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. They just slide right cool. on there. See, and we even got backups. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's when they have really wear out. Yeah. High quality. That's awesome. Oh, for, you even look at even with the extra mile, your shit's all inlaid. It looks way better. My stuff's just oh. <laughs> sticks out. That's a, a great. You did a great. Well, what? Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, own worst I critic. Too lazy to go get my uh, level. <laughs> don't, don't like that word lazy. <laughs> do everything in due time. That's yeah. awesome. Now you did a great job on this build. Wow. You Shake did. your hand. You're also wearing Dixon, so <laughs> props to that. <laughs> Just want to go in and see the cats. Yeah, his name is Cubby. Cubby? Yeah. Hi, Cubby. <laughs> well, there's one. Hey, tell birds. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were around dogs a lot of their life, but they didn't take to them yeah. very well. Hi, Cubby. Cubby just wants to play with you. What's going on? Where's the stars of the show? But we just gave him a whole video with just you, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. You did so good. Can't wait to get back out to BC. Yeah, she likes it on your shoulders. She does. Yeah. Wanna come up? Wanna come up? Come here. There you go. <laughs> Good girl. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As I mentioned, that was Dan and Tina. They are a couple of subscribers and supporters over on my Patreon. They are on their way, passing through town, up to the Yukon. Dan's got some work going on up there. They came all the way from Ottawa, so I just had a coffee with them in the McDonald's at Walmart and um, Miss Tina wanted to come out and see the cats and it was a great opportunity for me to check out um, Dan's build on their 2013 Ford Econoline. He did a great job on that build. Way better than I did on Lucky, I'm not even going to lie. But now we are going to go find a spot to park and we are going to break in that waffle maker. That's the plan anyway. It is a gorgeous day. Uh, I edited a video. I've got it uploading right now. So before I have to go pick up my little girl this afternoon, we're going to eat. Ha. Hmm, sad day. I just realized that my bowl for making batter was used when a uh, little girl was <coughs> feeling under the weather in the car, shall we say? And. I don't have any vinegar. So, we're gonna have to stop and get some, cause, yuck. Good old Canadian tire. Best place to get vinegar. Maybe not actually the best place to get vinegar, and probably not one you would think of, but this is the only place I've been able to find the actual spray bottles of vinegar, and usually I buy one and I just fill it up which I did for well over a year in my van life. That bottle finally sort of kicked the bucket and uh, I have a new one, but it fell very close to my old diesel heater and it actually ended up warping the neck of the bottle. So it's just not ideal. So I gotta get rid of that bottle that's hanging up there and I'm gonna grab a new one. And something just went crash, boom, bang. No, not my spree. Oh. These candies are really tasty. I haven't had breakfast. I'm not gonna start with candy. All right, vinegar. Please can 
in your bowl and tip your receipt. Thank you for shopping at Canadian Tire. Ooh, who used a potty? Be right back. Ooh, that's a Stella one if I've ever seen it. Okay. <clears throat> and yes, I don't have had breakfast yet, but these were calling my name. I just can't say no to a good nut. Everybody just calm down. Yeah, and you're stinky. You're a stinky girl. What did you get into? So funny. You eat the same as your sister, but... Yikes. Bye-bye. So I'm down at a location in Calgary in Fish Creek Park, as per usual, called Shannon Terrace. Shannon Terrace. What happened to my voice there? Cricky cracked and broke. I come down here quite frequently, actually. I really like this one. It's like one of the end of the park entrances. Busy down here today. Lots of people. It's because the weather's so nice. All right, first things first. Hi, Penny. I guess you're first things first. <laughs> second thing second. Yes. This um, and this. How's fan life work? It's like, how's it working for you? How's it working for me? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. So my camera's rolling. You okay with yeah, that? That's cool. Cool. Uh, working great so far. Yeah. My name's Matt. Dick, Matthew, nice if my mother's here and watching my channel. Oh, you um, have cats too. Yeah, awesome, two of them. Man. Penny and Stella. Hi, Penny. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I started it October 18th, 2021, and I haven't looked back. And it's been great. I built the whole van myself from the spring to the fall of that year. Okay. It's all like repurposed furniture and stuff that I had on hand. And yeah, got a heater in it and everything. Winters are fine. Nice, you're insulated and everything, eh? Yeah, I insulated the walls and the ceiling. I should have insulated the floor, I didn't. Yeah. So if you were considering it, I highly recommend doing it. Okay. But uh, yeah, and it's been great. Yeah, that's Stella. They're very friendly. Come say hi. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very good at paying attention. <laughs> Down here doing some photography or what are you doing? No, that's not oh, photography. You're yeah. gonna go play with an RC car. I'm gonna play with an RC car. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. Right. Very cool. Awesome. Well, I just wanted to check it out. It looks sweet, man. Yeah, it's a little little cluttered right now. Yeah, you're an escape artist now. I never should have let you out in BC. <laughs> Get up here. Yeah, it's super fun, dude. Yeah, it looks awesome, man. Yeah. It's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. All right. Well, cool. I'm going to rig my RC car up and take off. Have fun. <laughs> Do we think this is okay? Yeah, she's my kid. You... Some people's kids. What's the, what the heck? Oy. I don't think she can get down unless she goes to the front, so. Bloody cats. <clears throat> hey, you. Yeah, meow. Come here, let me jump. Ooh. <laughs> mm, you keep your furry butt inside the house now, please. Thank you. Okay. Clean enough to eat off of. Nope. <laughs> You little sneak. I'm going to make the batter and we'll be right back. Bachelor. You get your butt back up there, Stella. I can't remember from the pancakes. Did I have a little cup or did I just like... I think I just spoon stuff in. Yeah. No measuring cups. Ooh! But we do have vanilla that we can add to the batter this time. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a... <laughs> do I have a cup or anything? It's literally in... <laughs> the mix. Okay. Huh. I ball it. I ball it. I don't care. How many waffles does one man need? Clean as you go. Clean as you go and put stuff away. Oh, I'm going to need my butter. I'm going to need my butter in my upside down butter dish. Ha ha ha. Today we've got boot water, so that should work just fine. This off. And let's see. 
Okay, hang on, let's get this. Of course, it's got a bloody condom on it. Hang on. So obnoxious. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna be covered in vanilla. Why do they make these stupid little plastic necks so hard to rip? It's very inconvenient. Sealed for your safety. Sealed for your annoyance. Yuck. Ooh, that is thick vanilla. So thick. I need two hands to do this. Hang on. I am actually really excited for this if it turns out well because my little girl loves waffles. Like, well, she loves like Eggo waffles. So if daddy can make waffles in the tiny home on wheels, that's pretty cool. And now I'm also now realizing I was, I'm probably taking her to IHOP for dinner tonight. Uh, that's okay. It means I can have a burger or something. I don't need to have pancakes on the same day that I had waffles. Although there's nothing wrong with that. We're adults. We can do whatever the hell we want. I think it needs to be a little more runny. If you want this to be able to pour into the skillet, right? I only use a, ma a waffle maker a couple times. My most experience I have with them is like at hotels that have like continental breakfasts. That's too much water now. It's far too runny. Yeah, well, maybe not. Hang on, gotta get the lumps out. Get out the lumps. Get out the lumps. Yeah, that looks looking nice and smooth. Oh, it is very runny. Maybe just a little bit more. We went overboard with the liquid. Yeah, much better. Okay, let's see what we got here with this little guy now. So I've heard good things about these Dash products. I've never used one myself, so. No time like the present. Also, if I don't open it, how the hell are we gonna make waffles? Let's see what we got here. Hello, foodie. Are you ready to reward yourself? Register now. That's the last thing I need is more registration of anything. You know, some part of the Waffle Maker Club? No. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. It was awesome. Hot surface, in and out. Ooh. Look at that. The one thing I do remember from my experience from using one of these at the Sticks and Bricks before years and years ago is that, yeah, they have a certain smell and that leaves a certain taste on the waffles until you break them in. I mean, I could hit this with vinegar and I guess it's, yeah, I guess that'd be the smart thing. Maybe I should warm it up and hit it with vinegar because of the vinegar roll. Shh. Let's try that. Okay. And I was wondering if it was a 12 volt plug or a regular plug-in plug. It's a regular plug-in plug, which means, oh, I can't use that inverter though. My little inverter is only like 300 watts, and I think this guy's 350. So, do you just do you want to use the Vitamin? What's the Vitamin at? 85%. Let's use the Vitamin because then that'll, I'll know exactly how much power it takes to make a bloody waffle. I'm going to read the instructions quickly. Heat it up. Oh, recipes inside. Waffles. Never touch the cooking surface or cover while appliance is in use. Always lift and lower the cover by the cover handle. Lift from the side. All right. Indicator light will shut off when it's hot enough. Now you're ready to get cooking. Uh, carefully the living handle. Spray both cooking surfaces with a small amount of non- I didn't get oil. Darn it, I need to put that on my list. Okay. Aerosol cooking sprays often contain additives that can cause non to become sticky and hard to clean over time. Oh, it wants me to get a spray bottle, much like the vinegar bottle, and put actual oil in it, not aerosol. Interesting. I guess we got something to buy. But for now, we're gonna have to use butter. Because again, just like the pancakes, I have nothing like that. Although, while well, I have, do I have oil? Uh, just truffle oil. I don't think that'd be very good on pancakes. Pancakes? Waffles. Where am I? All right, so I got it plugged in. It's, there's the LED light. It's very hard to tell when it's on. I actually had to go like this to see. Because with the light and the sun and everything, it's like, how do you, what the? All right, so don't touch it by the hot cooking surfaces, Matthew. My goodness. Let's get our butter ready. <laughs> I can't, hello? Are you getting hot? How many watts is this taking? 265. 270. Yeah, she gets up there. Yeah, bowl's easier to clean. Now we're going to eat our waffle out of a bowl because we can. It's 268 watts. So, so far, it could have run off the little inverter, but don't want to risk it. Hello? Getting hot. How long are you going to take? Oh, yeah. Vinegar. That's probably stupid, but whatever. Mmm. <laughs> Cleaning with Van Life Plus. That's probably good enough. All right, so wait, is the light off? No, I gotta wait till the light turns off, don't I? Where's that stupid? Oh, I heard a click. Light's gone. Quick, get your butter and your batter. Hey, they say don't use metal utensils on these little guys, so. I guess some butter, butter, butter. Oh, yeah. 
Problem is I'm not gonna be able to like, whoa. Uh, that's gonna make a mess. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get that butter rolling, roll high. Let's get some batter in there. How do I, how much, how full do I fill it? Fill it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too much? I don't know. I'm just going to fill the hole. <laughs> There we go. Let's see what happens. It's probably not full enough. And there's no instructions. Just like once the waffle is cooked to your liking. So it's very basic, very simple. There's no timer. There's no nothing. This is all going to be eyeballing it. So we will see. I doubt it's ready yet. I'm not going to risk opening this up and have it going. Bleh. The biggest tragedy of all, unfortunately, and I know I'll get grief for it. This is what it is. Didn't feel like picking up another one. The maple syrup that was sent to me, I actually took it into my parents' house when I was visiting. Um, them in BC. Wow, I just had a whole, that was a brain fart if I ever was one. I forgot it in their fridge, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate. That's why I said unfortunately, my God. So I'll be using it with everybody's favorite knockoff syrup. <laughs> oh, it's spilling out the sides. You're so messy, Matthew. Wow. How long does this take? That's, yeah, that was probably too much. It's puffing up. Yeah, see, it's all spongy and bouncy. Yeah, that's not ready. Do not open. Do not open. All right, let's give this another shot. Let's give this another shot. It stayed. Oh, look at that. Not too bad. A little spillover. Is this going to come out? Hello? Are you not done cooking? Do you need a minute? Privacy, please. All right, let's try this again. I'll just use this. Ooh. Huh? Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, if I left it in there, it would have kept getting crispier. Obviously. All right, apology for the weird shady lighting, but I need to get this waffle inside me. So, butter. <laughs> you know what, maybe what we'll do as well, while I'm consuming this guy, get another guy cooking. I'm gonna try it without putting butter on here and see what happens. Because it does say it's non-stick, but let's see. And we'll do a little less this time. There's no on or off switch on the unit. You have to physically unplug it from the power source in order for it to turn off. So we'll just keep trucking here. There, that's an ex that's an exceptionally less amount of that. So let's see how that works. There you go. Do your thing. The stuff on the edge that spilled out is not cooked. Shocking. Oh, I'm just handing in my Canadian citizenship now. Hashtag don't care. Love this stuff. Let's give the first waffle from our Dash waffle maker. Thank you, Vern try. Oh, that's a pretty good looking little waffle there. Bone apple tits. Oh, that vanilla is good in there. That is handy. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. Haven't had anything to eat yet today besides a handful of nuts. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yup, that's a keeper. Just hanging out in my van, making waffles. Right, that's how the second one turned out. Eee! All right, so we still gotta find a middle ground, but that's pretty cool. There's no spillage. You done? Oh yeah, you're done. Let's get another one going. You're having so much fun right now. And it worked fine without the butter on there or any like oil. That's interesting. <laughs> Super simple. I love that. And it's so small. I'm not going to take up too much room and lucky. Waffle. Okay, I'm going to eat and then we'll catch up. Yum. I'm on to like my third waffle. I just realized the only thing that's missing from this equation. Heck yeah. Nice tall glass of milk. Ah, nice balanced breakfast. No regrets. Mm. I made the last one and wasn't really paying attention. Mm, yeah, we got a bit of a waffle monstrosity happening over here. I don't even know if it's going to cook well. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, keeping my eye on the uh, vitamin down here. This thing is running at pretty constant 265 watts. Um, so it's not even going all the way up to the 350. 
and it says it does, which is great. It's a very low power consumption, which I guess is, guess is the whole point of these Dash products. <laughs> this waffle is, wow. Oh, you're not even done cooking. Just gonna hold that there a little longer. So far, I would say this is a big wiener. I have to spend some time cleaning this van up after. All right, the monster came out not so bad and pretty clean around the edges. So I'm gonna consume this and I'm gonna clean up because I'm already getting just the tiniest bit of mild, complete anxiety about the place. Mm -hmm. That is one handy little tool for sure. There, there's, there's considerable amount of cleanup when you're doing stuff like this. The pancakes was a little less, waffles a little more, but still I would say worth it. It's starting to get just the tiniest bit chilly out here, believe it or not. This guy on. And I think I'm going to have to go for a little bit of a walk as much as I can stand just to get my back moving and to walk off some of those waffles. I didn't have five. Yo, shush! Oh, all right. Got everything wrapped up. Garbage into the garbage bin. Go for a little walk, see how far I can make it today. Hey, I'll be back, Lucky. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, it's that time of year. Everything is very muddy. I should probably be wearing my boots, but uh, I didn't. It's okay, we'll just walk around all of the yuck. I don't know, I'm doing a lot of thinking lately and the way everything's going and the way I feel about BC and getting out there and seeing my family and creating all this content here on YouTube, which I'm so thankful for that I get to do that and people are enjoying it. Thank you very much for watching if you're still here watching this. I mean, thank you if you only watched at least 30 seconds. I appreciate it. I don't know, it's definitely got me thinking. Lots rolling around up here in my brain. That's just the way my creative side works. I don't know, there might be some changes soon coming around the bend, so to speak. Much like this bend I find myself on right now. Oh God, I go down, I'm gonna have to come back up. All right, here we go. But anyways, I, uh, Nothing is in stone yet, but I can feel that there will be changes coming soon for sure. All good things for the channel. Just going to be some challenging stuff in life, I'm sure. But what fun is life if it's too easy? And I was going to take today off, you know. I, uh, I was feeling I had a really bad pain day yesterday with my back. I think I mentioned that earlier. If not, I had a really bad pain day with my back yesterday and I still got a bunch of editing done and I got a video posted and I was just going to take today off, but then I met up with Dan and Tina and it just seemed like, it seemed like too good of a moment with them uh, wanting to see Stella and Penny and me wanting to see their van and just this sort of camaraderie. And it was very interesting that uh, Jacob walked up to me here in Fish Creek Park and asked about van life. It's weird how some of that stuff sort of happens. Long story short, I'm glad I decided to film today. Got the nice little entry for my vlog here, and now I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this walk. Although, I think I'm gonna turn around and go the other way, because uh, clearly the sun doesn't hit here very often. <clears throat> yeah, and these shoes are not, mm-hmm. Yeah, no. We will go right back up this path and go the other way into the park. I'm gonna leave this one here, you guys. Until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive, and I'll see you all in the next one.